Hello friends. Welcome to Java Swing tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at J button and how to create J button with the icon. So here we will create image icon instance. Then we will give that to J button. Then we will learn how to align image and text in the J button. If you see here in the picture, there is a image as well as a button caption. So whether you want to display the image first or uh, after displaying the text, you want to display the image. So that is decided by image text and align. So this is what called the horizontal alignment. In vertical alignment, you can place the image and then place the button text above the image or below the image. So this prerequisite is not mandatory, but it is good to have knowledge. So once you have some AWT knowledge, you can learn Swing easily. So this video is mandatory. So on top of this uh, J frame window, we will create this uh, J button and uh, we will study the behavior of a J button with icons. So first we will construct a image icon instance then when creating the J button. So first one is the caption that will display it along with the button. Let's say this is the button. So there will be a location for the image then the text appears here. So this image icon goes here and caption goes here but this can be controlled using the say it horizontal position once the j button is created you can make a call to this function so this um, let's say once again let's consider this is our button the set horizontal position will tell whether the text should appear here or this image should go after the text so that we can control using the set horizontal position you can also make a call to set vertical position so this set vertical position will tell whether the text should appear above the image or it should appear below the image so left or right is decided by set horizontal position top or bottom is decided by set vertical position all right now let's go to eclipse demo so this is our uh, swing frame window So this is how it uh, appears. So these are all the icon that we want to display with the button. Here we will create two button. One will use this save image. So it appears like this and the other one is the option so so just a uh, two PNG image file with the uh, 40 cross 40 pixel size so the location is a C temp so first we will create our image icons and you can see here image icon from C temp we specified the path and you have to note the double slash 
so the this is the escape sequence to place the slash so we specified path to our png and we constructed our image icon next we create our j button the first option is grammar i mean uh, the string so this will set the caption for the button then we pass our image icon as a second parameter so here we are creating two j button after that we are adding it to the uh, content pan control host so we are making call to add method and if you see this is how the button displays if you see here by default the image is appearing first after that the text caption is uh, coming so if you want to change this you can use this right horizontal text position here we are using the position as a left and you can see the other options so the other options are right so that's what you already saw now we are changing it to left so there is center leading and trailing now let's use the lift and if you see the text is coming first then image is coming previously image is displayed first after that the text is displayed so that's the use of set horizontal text position we can also do set vertical text position also So by default, the vertical text position is center. So here also it shows this is the default. We already saw that. Now for the first button, I am using uh, bottom as the vertical position. And for the second tick button, I mean the, for the second save button, I am using top as the uh, position. Now let's check this and you can see so this is from our uh, previous run okay and compare so without adding sample 6 that is displayed here and our text position is left that means the text is staying in the left and the image is coming after that so with that we set our vertical position also so in the previous run you can see that the text is staying in the middle vertically if you see this the vertical vertically it's in the middle that's the default that means the center next for the first button we are setting uh, um, vertical text position as bottom so you can see that first the text is aligned towards the left of this uh, image after that in the vertical position it is staying in the bottom here the text is saying in the top towards the left of the image so i hope now you will get an idea of how we can use a set horizontal text position and vertical text position that's all here in this video Thank you for watching. Bye.